Hello everyone, this is our latest developed TD3H multifunctional LED backlight and constant current board tester. Now, let me introduce to you some powerful functions of this tester. Here's the main switch and power input. It is suitable for the global voltage AC85 to 265 input. This is the adjustment knob of the highest testing voltage. This is the adjustment knob of output current. The blue one is voltmeter and the red one is ammeter. In addition, there's a switch of 1 mA current and adjustable current. On the top of the instrument, there is a power supply testing interface of constant current board. We will present a testing cable with a hook along with the instrument. Okay, now let me demonstrate to you how to use our tester. The factory setting of our instrument is that the voltage is preset at a maximum of 330 and the current is preset at around 50 mA. First of all, we connect the power cord and turn the AC switch on. Then the voltage will automatically rise to a stable value of about 330. Now turn the current switch to the position of adjustable current. Then you can carry out an adaptive test on TV LED backlight strip. If you need to test LED strings with lower voltage frequently, you can also use the flat blade screwdriver to lower the voltage to the one you need and test it in the standby state of the instrument. The voltage adjustment range is about 20 to 330. If you want to lower or rise the brightness of the test LED, you can adjust the current preset knob with a screwdriver during the test. Clockwise adjustment rises current. If you need to test very low currents, you can turn the current switch to 1 mA and then the output current is fixed at 1 mA. There are two points to note here. Firstly, maximum output voltage can be adjusted in open circuit, and secondly, maximum testing current can be adjusted when test leads are short circuited. If you need to test a single lamp bead, you can first turn the voltage down to lower than 30. And the current switch to the position of 1 mA. At this moment, the test is very safe and the electric shock will not happen to human body. What's more, it will not damage the quality of lamp beads even if the positive and negative poles are connected reversely. Okay, now let's talk about how to test the LED backlight driver. Nowadays, many single group backlight TVs on the market are shut down or with black screens the moment they are turned on. The backlight strips can be lit by common backlight testers. At this point, it is easy to be determined as a backlight drive failure. In fact, some TVs cannot be fixed even though they change the backlight drivers. So what is the problem indeed? 
This tester can accurately determine the fault by LED backlight and drivers simultaneously. First, we need find the input plug of the TV backlight strip, pull it out and insert the test lead positive and negative poles. We don't insert the backlight driver cable at this time. Then the instrument display shows a certain voltage and current indicating the backlight strips can be lit. We will connect the output of the constant current plate to the presented cable with a hook. Okay, now let us start the TV power switch. We need to observe the change of the voltage meter and the ammeter. If the voltage and current values are over 30 and keep stable, it indicates the constant current board works normally. And the problem lies on the light strip. It is recommended to replace the screen or repair the back light strip. On the contrary, it means the constant current board breaks down. We need to solve the problem of the constant current board first. If the test leads are connected to the backlight strip socket with zero current display, it indicates that the test leads and socket are in poor contact. Or the positive and negative poles are reversed. It is necessary to check and solve the contact problem carefully. If the contact is confirmed correct, and the current value still shows zero, it indicates that light strip is at fault. It is necessary to first disassemble and repair the light strips. This tester also has a very powerful feature. It can test 12 voltage light strips with multiple strings and low voltage. The test current can be up to 1000 mA. First of all, insert the presented cable with a hook into the corresponding interface of the instrument. Then, short circuit the probe directly. You will see that the voltage display is about 12. Now we can test it. We can see that the LED light strip is very bright, and the current displayed on the instrument is over 800 mA. It can also use the 1 mA current file to test the withstand voltage of the point decompression capacitor and Zener diode. Okay, the above is an introduction to some basic functions of this instrument. It is very shocking that a small tester comes with so many functions. If you are a TV repair engineer or a LED technician, you should own one, as it can help you a lot. Save money and save time. Absolute value for money. Finally, thank you very much for watching. Please pay attention to RTKDMR brand.